What's going on guys? This is Nate from the Scrabble Academy coming to you to our next deck profile here on the channel. Today I've got Chris here with his Ad Emancipator Sprite. I'm gonna let him jump right on into it. All right, so like you said, uh, it's Ad Emancipator Sprite. Uh, good level two synergy there. So we got three Researcher, three Seeker, and three Analyzer. Uh, you wanna max out on the names. Level twos, uh, pretty good with Elf and Gigantic plays. Um, summons herself with any rock, summons itself with another name, and a Cyber Dragon. Uh, for other Adamancipators, we played two Dragite. Uh, just draw one when you summon. Uh, new card out of Pope is the Hidden Gem of the Seafront. Uh, now what does this do? You can pitch it from hand. It gives you an additional normal for an earth or a water monster. Okay. Um, and then if you control at the same time an earth and a water, he can summon himself from grave. Uh, banishes when he leaves, but uh, level two, so it really helps you go into some sprite plays. Uh, you can keep him around with just overlaying into a uh, gigantic. So uh, just keeps coming back. A really good card. Uh, can't complain with the normal summon. Uh, oh. It's a rock deck, ultimately. So we've got three supplier, uh, only two guardian. Um, just helps chain lock, searches a uh, free negate, uh, way better now with the additional normal summon effect, so you can really pull off some pretty strong boards, play through a lot. Can never get too many free negates. No. Uh, again, rock deck, so we got the one Doki. Uh, sometimes I think about playing two, just because he's a good extender, he forces uh, an interruption if they have one, and he's a level two. Because it helps that it's a level two there, you can just special summon out a spray if you need to. Yeah, absolutely, but um, I think one's okay. Uh, you see it enough, and you really usually don't need the pitch effect to summon. Um, he's really just a level two rock chilling there. Okay. Um, it is a sprite variant, so we've got the three swap and the one Ronin. Um, you can do it, so we, we're gonna do it. Might as well just do it. Yeah, uh, really a lot of level two synergy, and swap actually comes up a lot where you can pitch from hand to summon, because you play a good amount of waters. Uh, your Hulk target is gonna be your Plague Spreader. Again, because we can do it, we are. Uh, the one Scythe. Oh. Until Konami tells me I can't. And then uh, to round off the monsters, just three hand traps, three ash, uh, generic enough. Um, wanted something because the only thing I really die to is Dark Ruler, so having ash just there is another follow up in case I get hit with that. Never fun. Uh, we play for spells three signs, uh, not a once per turn monster reborn, so uh, you really can't argue with that. It's it's really broken. It lets you stack a rock if you summon an Adamantipator name. So what they're saying is they didn't think that card was going to be too good. <laughs> no, <laughs> they didn't actually, throw a once per turn on there. It's really nuts, yeah. Uh, and then three cross out, uh, three talents. Uh, we're really trying to not die to Dark Ruler, so we're either trying to hit it or hit it early. We never really draw or take the monster unless we're going second. Uh, and one call by, and for the cross out, one Dark Ruler. Uh, that's it for the main. It's a 40, uh, 40 card count. Um, yeah, pretty consistent. I mean, if your Adamantipator lines get stopped, it is very easy to still just go into level two plays and end on a normal sprite board, okay. uh, usually with the scythe lock. All right, let's go ahead and we'll jump into your extra deck. Uh, for the extra deck, we played uh, one Almirage. Um, comes up sometimes, you need it when it does. Um, really helps get out of some weird hands. Mm -hmm. Uh, for Link 2s, we've got the one Hulk, one Dagda, and two Elf. Um, when I first built the deck, I was only playing one Elf, but really having two, it's super necessary. Okay. Um, really, really great monster. Uh, the one TG for the Hulk Scythe play. Again, shouldn't be able to, but I can. Uh, two Raptite, um, really great extender. Uh, Summons any rock out of the deck that's excavated, not just a tuner. So really can get you whatever you're looking for um, and helps go into Dragite or Savage plays. Uh, the one Dragite for Synchro 8 and the one Savage. Uh, Savage is self-explanatory. Dragite, for those that don't know, is broken. He's a spell and trap negate if you have a water and uh, on your turn he can excavate the top five of your deck. For each rock monster that is revealed, non-targeting, he can bounce a card your opponent controls. Uh, so you can reveal three, four, five rocks and clear an entire board. And by the time that you're choosing what you want to send back, they can't respond. So really, really good at outing boards. Uh, then the one Baron for the TG Scythe play. 
Uh, just really dumb that you can do that. Uh, for XZs, we got the one gigantic with the one toad. Those are the only rank twos I'm playing. Uh, and then the one gallant and the one dweller for the tier matchup. Um, gallant's pretty self-explanatory as well. Just searches Yanni Rock. Is there anything you'd change out of your deck after playing today? Um, I'm, I've been back and forth with the dweller. Um, it's been kind of toss up between that or Zeus, but. I think I'm going to stick with the Dweller. I didn't summon it tonight, or I didn't need to, but I think for the format, with how explosive tier can be, it's definitely necessary. Um, so not really too much I would play. I mean, I would always play more if I could, but yeah, it's what we're working with. Alrighty, well thank you so much Chris for bringing us your Adam Peter Sprite deck. If you guys did enjoy today's deck profile, make sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell on the way out the door because all your support is greatly appreciated. Make sure to check back later on this week, we will have a couple live duels with this deck in action so you can see how this deck plays out. That's all I've got for now guys, thank you so much for watching. As always, this is Nate from the Scrub Academy, setting up for now. Peace out.